Hey, wait. Show me, show me that trick again with your uh, protein shake. No, dude, I just had one. Hey, you gotta show it one more time for the camera. Happy? Are you happy now? That's awesome. What's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard. And for today, I've got a quick little movie magic trick you guys can do to impress your friends, have some fun with, or just really test out After Effects and start to learn the basics of visual effects. So I found this on the Two Venezolanos account where they were grabbing a wine emoji out of the air and then, you know, drinking it. But on this one, I'll show you how to make your own emoji, grab it out of the air as it turns into a real object, and then you can do whatever you want with it, interact with it, what have you. But with that being said, if you're new to Video Fort, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified whenever we put out new visual effects tutorials every single week. And I want to give a shout out to Dur Duran for leaving us some love on that last Cinemagraphs tutorial. If you've never tried Cinemagraphs, definitely check that out. Okay, enough with that. Let's dive into the tutorial. I'm going to show you how I shot it. So I have the camera on a tripod. I walk up to my actor, Wade, and let me just play this one out to show you. Um, he snaps his fingers and then he pretends like there's a protein shake right there. Then as he goes to grab it, I tell him to freeze and then I put the protein shake in his hand. And then what we do is we, I say action and then he will take the protein shake out um, as if it just appeared right there and then take a sip. So that's really all you got to do on the shot. The I took another shot of just the protein shake and this is what I will mask out and create the emoji of. So really just a static shot of that. Um, you can even take a picture if you want. So let's uh, dive into it and create our video. So drag your clip into a new composition. Okay. And then what we're going to do is trim this clip up. So let's go to the part where you know, he snaps his fingers and then what right before he freezes. So right as his hand grabs the shake and I'll do it before he closes his eyes. So probably right there, right where the play it is, hit command shift D and that will split the clip. And then we're going to split it again um, at the end. So he's got the shake in his hand right now. And then right as he brings the protein shake closer to him and kind of grabs it out of the air is where we're going to make that cut again. So right about here as it starts to move. Command Shift D to split that and we'll take this middle layer and delete it. Okay, and then we can drag this guy in, and that will be our cut from boom to boom. Okay, so he kind of magically picks it out of the air. Um, this could also be an effect within itself where you can just pick things out of the air. Or if you're Mr. Miyagi and you have your chopsticks, you can start picking flies out of the air, and this is kind of how you would do it. <laughs> so, uh, all right, back into it. Now, what I want to do is he snaps his fingers and right on the snap, I want the protein shake to kind of appear right in the air right here. So what we're going to do is take my other video clip that I have. Remember, this can be a uh, picture. You don't have to actually film video. I'll drag that guy into our composition and I'm going to right click, go to time and freeze frame because I don't need a video, I just need a frozen clip. And then what I'm going to do is mask out my shake. So use the pen tool, zoom in there and create your mask. All right, so once you've got your mask, let's uh, move our protein shake into place. So let's go to that very last or the first frame of our second clip and I'm just going to name them for now, so I'll call this one Wade 2, and that's when he grabs it, and then Wade 
1. Um, and Wade is our actor, if you're wondering why I'm calling these Wade 1 and 2. So, let's, uh, I'm going to drag this out and kind of zoom in there by pressing the plus sign on the keyboard. And I'm going to move this protein shake right where it should be on top of my other, my way two layer protein shake. So let's kind of zoom in there and check it out. So right about there looks good. Um, I'll press S and scale it up just a tad. Let me move that anchor point to the middle as well. Okay, and that looks good right there. Now I'm going to drag this layer and it's going to end right before this way two begins okay so we're gonna have boom and he's gonna grab it like that and I can actually move this over like that Let's see how that looks and then you can just scrub back and forth until it looks like he's grabbing it out of the air so that looks good to me let's um, see if the snap when he snaps that's when the protein shake will come in place. So he snaps right there, boom, and that's where I want the protein shake to start. So I'll trim that down to there, and now he's gonna snap, boom. All right, cool, I'll zoom out so I can show you guys. So he snaps, and the protein shake appears. Cool, now let's turn this shake into an emoji. So what we're going to do is go to our effects and presets, type in cartoon, drag this guy on here and let's start fidgeting with our cartoon parameters so the fill um, let's turn it up and then our edge we want that width to be turned up um, and our threshold so then I'll give it that kind of cartoony look to it um, and then turn down the shadow smoothness a bit okay so cool now we have our cartoon looking protein shake and now we want to add some edges to it so with our I'll rename this to protein shake with our protein shake selected hit apple D or control D and on this bottom layer what we're going to do is add a fill so drop that fill effect onto our bottom layer and then you could delete the cartoon effect and make that fill white okay and let me show you that again since it was kind of off screen so I made it white press OK and what we're going to do is open up our mass so hit MM MM and where it says mass expansion we're gonna expand the mask okay so it's gonna create sort of that outline and we're gonna make it a little bit sort of thick and then we're gonna add a black one so control D again to duplicate it and work on this bottom layer protein shake mass expansion a little bit more and change the color to black and you know that could be any color you want for the outline um, he's wearing a black shirt so it's kind of actually hard to see the black and make sure these are all lined up I don't know how that guy moved over okay cool so now we have our cartoon emoji uh, protein shake now he grabs out of the air like that cool bam and fix this part so there's no blank frames so I'll select all these by uh, holding the shift button and opening it up one more frame and boom cool now we've got that Okay, and I'll just change the color of these so for organizational purposes. And I'll trim this down by bringing the playhead to the very end and pressing the N as in Nancy on our keyboard and then right clicking and going to trim comp to work area. Cool, now we have our composition where your actor will grab an emoji out of the air or really anything out of the air, whatever that might be. And then you're essentially done. If you have seen my other tutorials, you probably know what's coming next, which will be taking your composition and we'll call it uh, 
grabbing protein comp and dragging that into a new composition right here. So that's basically what we did is pre-composed all those layers. And now what we're going to do is, um, let's see, I need to change the composition settings to a 1920 by 1080 um, because I shot that in 4K on my Sony a7S II. So I need to drop it down. All right. So once you guys have pre-composed your layer, and remember guys, if you did not shoot that, shoot yours in 4K, you don't have to do that extra step that I just did. So now what we're going to do is go to layer new, null object. We're going to connect our layer to the null by using this parent pick whip tool and dragging it onto the null. Okay, now it's parented as you can see right here. We're going to press P. Alt click on the stopwatch right here and type in type in wiggle parentheses um, 2 comma 10 so that means the position will wiggle two times a second for 10 pixels okay and press enter so we're gonna have to scale in a bit I'll hit the s scale up so we don't see those edges okay and then what we can do is now that it's connected to our null, open up our uh, position and keyframe that, scale, keyframe that. So I just press P and S. I'm going to press U to see both of my keyframes. And I can start to move the camera around. So I will zoom in by using the scale about here, changing my position so weight is in the center. Okay, that looks good. And then he'll snap. So I'm going to copy these keyframes. Control C or Command C and Command V. So they're copied over and then I'm going to start to zoom out. And move my position over to about here. Okay, it zooms out as he grabs the shake, boom, and I'm happy. If you've seen in my other tutorials, I'll add a camera lens blur, um, and then um, you can use that to make it look like you rack focus in really fast and then kind of zoom out. So I think I did that on the head explosion tutorial. So definitely check that out if you're interested in a little more advanced um, camera movement by using your null object. But other than that, that's the tutorial. All right, guys, that's basically it. If this tutorial helped you out at all, please leave us a like, leave us a comment, and let us know what visual effects you guys want to learn. If there's a little movie magic trick you've seen on the internet that you want to know more about, I'll be happy to try to figure out how they did it, show it to you, and we can have some fun with it. Anyways, this is Video Forward on Magic Bard. I'll see you on the next one.